Brentford nil, Norwich nil. So what happened? Well, not a lot really, to be honest. This is my first nil-nil that I've ever done and... Did you see that? That was weird. Anyway, so what really did happen? Well, to make a decent comment, I have to... There it was again. What is it? As I was saying, to make a decent comment, I have to mention the referee. He was either pissed, his eyes were in backwards, or my own personal theory is that he made up his own fucked up rules. For example, if Ryan Bennett pulls a shirt of an opposition player in our box, it's a free kick to us. If Alex Tetty gets pulled back and then elbowed in the face, it's a free kick to them. And finally, if it's a 50-50 challenge, uh, there it was again. As I was saying, if Robbie Brady makes a 50-50 challenge, the referee has to get his card out quicker than a shopper in Asda on Black Friday. Give me all of the tellies. And if this does happen, he has to send one of the most offensive players off. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. He either had a toothless Irishman or a short ginger man. That's tricky. I mean, post-Brexit, it would have been an easy choice. I mean, the short ginger one instantly. But now, bloody foreigners coming over here, getting free dental care, taking our young left-back jobs away from us so they have to go to Scunthorpe to get a job. So the referee had a And there it is again. Look, I'm sorry, but is it me or do you keep missing Cameron Jerome? Let me repeat those last five words. You keep missing Cameron Jerome. Wasn't worth it, was it? Finally, Alex Neal should be ashamed of himself. He didn't wave or applaud or acknowledge the away fans as he walked past the pitch. I mean, the reaction was, Your disgraced humanity nail. Your face looks like chewed up toffee. You lost your hair. Naturally. You're looking forward to Honey G's album. You can't say Bournemouth properly. Your surname is also a Christian name. Your whole professional career's been a joke and you're ugly and... Uh, and you're a dick. And he didn't wave back. That's so rude of him, isn't it? I was going to do like a best of 2016, but the Samaritans asked me not to. Apparently they don't have enough staff. Yes, I know he took Oliveira off, I know, but he's not as bad as the road days. Yes, I've got to go, I've got another call. Yes, I... Hello? Yes, I know his face looks like a chewed up toffee, but you've got to stop calling us, Mr Moxie. So there we go, 2016, but 2017 is going to be a much better year. It can't be any worse, but it's going to be a much better year. So thank you very much for watching the videos last year, for sharing and leaving comments. Not the people who called me a but the rest of them, thank you very much. And remember, Cameron!